All right, this video corresponds to the paper called triads in A major upper register. We are going to use only the bottom three strings or the upper three strings, however you want to call them. Anyway, a uh, high E string, B and a G. And we're going to use uh, small shapes like this. So the first one is an A major chord. Make sure to arch your finger over here because these two strings need to go underneath. If that finger is not arched, it's going to sound like this. We don't want that, so arch it nice like that. I'm tucking in these fingers now for the um, sake of the camera, but usually I would just have them hanging like that. But that's kind of confusing for the viewer, so let's tuck them in. There we go. This shape comes from your full major bar chord. And it just takes the bottom three strings. There we go. All right, the next chord is a B minor. Over here, you need to have a nice arch and another arch because this string goes on the knee and that string goes all the way on the knee. So you need to make sure these fingers are nice and arched. For instance, if your wrist is too low, you can see that your fingers start stretching, which means they're not arching and they cannot pass underneath so need to up your wrist a little bit don't tuck it all the way like this don't brace your shoulder either just keep it nice and low kind of find your sweet spot um, this is kind of my sweet spot and i can do this as well and this as well all right, it doesn't really matter but if i go too low that's the result all right b minor this comes from your classic b chord there you go it's just the bottom three strings all right next one c sharp minor just move the shape over it comes from this classic c sharp minor bar chord all right so even a b minor c sharp minor next one is a d like that in this case, this finger needs to be arched because this string goes all the way underneath, like that. And the root shape of this is, of course, your major chord. All right, like that. And then we move that one over two frets. And you have your E chord, which comes from your bar chord. I usually don't play the bottom string. When I do it like this, I will grab it more in a power chord way. And keep that one muted, but for this exercise, there it is. All right, so for now we have an A, B minor, C sharp minor, D, E. Let's scroll down on the paper, there we go. All right, second fret, a little bar like that, or you can use three fingers, whatever you want. This comes from your full F sharp minor chord. You can hear that my guitar is nice and out of tune on the full chord. It's because it's a crappy guitar. All right, and then we move over to this chord, which in this case is a G sharp, minor flat five but most of you will know this shape from a d dominant seven it can function as different chords depending on the bass note and in this case this chord will resolve to our a chord there we go so in total we got a b minor c sharp minor D, E, F sharp, G sharp minor 5, G sharp minor flat 5, and back to the A. And you could say like, oh, why do I need these chords? You don't, but they're fun. Um, I used to play in a ska band and I would use these all the time for stuff like this. Let's do that without a pick.
stuff like that. It's pretty fun. And you can do stuff like this. Um, uh, let's see. All right, just get creative with it. It's fun. Sounds cool. All right, have fun. See you later.